It's called Poem for Mark. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Poem for Mark. All day I carried around the intermittent, wishing I had a look. Maybe I've got the wrong halo over my ordinary head shining. Maybe I'm a fitful sunny patch, sucking on a cough drop, trying to gladden what it looks like I might get picnicked in. It's been a year since the last really scary giant storm. Seems like September is always full of parties and disasters, and back to helplessly rebuilding. At first today I was kind of frustrated with the ancient radio tuned to never-ending clutter. Then a sonic youth update, good for a little surge of electric wonder. Then totally bored of New York, the installation. At last, an excellent bench in an old museum like me, big enough to hold its own clouds. I was sitting on it thinking, because we used to know how to find each other, it didn't seem important. Tuesday so beloved in its big blue boots of how you learn to live, not by reading or talking, but measuring the exuberant puddles of everything bad and good, then calmly stepping through. Uh, and this second poem is called Pocket, and I and somebody asked me if I would read it. I read it last night at a reading, but somebody asked me if I'd read it again. Really sad I said that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> pocket. I like the word pocket. It sounds a little safely dangerous. Like knowing you once bought a headlamp in case the lights go out in a catastrophe. You will put it on your head and your hands will still be free. Or standing in a forest and staring at a picture in a plant book while eating scary looking wildflowers. Saying pocket makes me feel potentially but not yet busy. I'm getting ready to have important thoughts. I'm thinking about my pocket. <laughs> which has its own particular geology. Maybe you know what I mean. I mean, I basically know what's in there, and can even list the items, but also there are other bits and pieces made of stuff that might not even have a name. Only a scientist could figure it out. And why would a scientist do that? He or she should be curing brain diseases, or making sure that asteroid doesn't hit us. Look out, scientists. Today the unemployment rate Today the unemployment rate is 9.4%. I have no idea what that means. I tried to think about it harder for a while. Then tried then tried standing in an actual stance of mystery and not knowing towards the world, which is my job. As is staring at the backyard and for one second believing I'm actually rising away from myself which is maybe what I have in common right now with you. And now I'm placing my hand on this very dusty table and brushing away the dust. And now I'm looking away and thinking for the last time about my pocket. But this time I'm thinking about its darkness, like the bottom of the sea, but without the blind fluorescent creatures floating in a circle around the black box which along with tremendous thunder and huge shards of metal from the airplane sank down and settled here where it rests cheerfully beeping. Thank you.